What up, people? What up, people? This is your boy K Solo with the deal. As you guys probably saw the early video that I that I that I made today, talking about that I'm gonna be easy on doing video lives, um, doing my stories because you know what I'm saying I'm gonna start working again, and I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to go back to work. See if I could do it. Um, like I told you guys earlier, I've been feeling a little like weak. You know, I've been feeling a lot weak. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm, I made an appointment to see the doctor Monday and see what's going on with me, see why I'm feeling weak. And you know, thank God it's nothing crazy because I check myself every few months. I check myself for that for HIV. I check myself, you know, I do a, a, a physical, talking about everything, everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? I make sure I take care of everything when I do my physicals. Blood, eyes, um, colon, I, you know what I'm saying? So, so far, everything is good. I haven't done the physical, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the last physical I did was the time, the last time I was in the hospital, that's not even a year, so that's like maybe, I say that's like probably somewhere by, by December maybe, by December or January, somewhere around there, so, you know, hopefully Monday comes, everything's okay Monday, and um, check it out. Uh, people are talking about it could be diabetes, you know, and um, if it is, um, I know what I got to do, you know what I'm saying, uh, strictly, strictly, strictly uh, diet, um, lettuce, tomatoes, um, onions, because believe it or not, onions are good for you. I didn't, I didn't know how good it is onion to the body, but the, the onion is the body's best friend. Check it out, for real, I, I never knew this. But, um, you know, I'm gonna do whatever it takes for me to have a few, a few more years here. And like I said, hopefully I could do this. And tomorrow is the day I go to work, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So hopefully I could handle it. Um, believe it or not, I'm scared. I really am scared that, you know, I, if something breaks down like a fight or something that I will not be able to give it my all. Um, you know, it's a lot of, you, you know, you guys, you guys must be seeing here, you must be seeing me, you know, talking and, and, and trying to, you know, laughing and stuff like that, guys. But deep down the side, guys, I am scared. I am so, so, so scared. You know, um, you know, I got heart disease. You guys knows that. You guys know that. Bipolar, um, suffer from depression, anxiety attack, panic attacks. Uh, I'm also, I hate to say this shit, but schizo. You know, and I hate to say it because schizo. I don't know. It sounds like you know, like a madman. You know, and I'm nothing like that. I'm not a madman. Yes, I do have a bad temper. Yes, I do. Yes, I do blank out. Um, it's not good to blank out because, you know, a few times I blanked out. And when I, you know, when I came through, it was a lot of damage. You know, um, for example, this one guy, this was upstate New York prison. Um, uh, you know, he kept fucking around with a lot of people and I just couldn't take it no more. I couldn't take it no more. And I went up to him to try to tell him, yo, listen, enough is enough. And the dude kept on and kept on up to I had to pluck him. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what plucking means. I plucked him like three times. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, that stopped that shit. He didn't, you know, and when I got it, gave it to the dude, he didn't snitch. He did not snitch. 
But uh, yeah, I plucked that dude like three times. No, because he was wild and he was wild and picking on people. Um, and, and I'm a type of guy, man, that I'm gonna keep it fishy with you guys. I, I don't like to see, I don't like to see, I don't like bullies. I don't, I don't like bullies. I don't. Sometimes I gotta stay away when I see a bully picking on somebody. I gotta stay away because I has caught myself many times in drama because I'm looking out for somebody that's getting picked on. And that person, what he does is he just runs away, you know? I'm over here fighting with two guys or three and God, you know, like Jesus Christ, jump in, you know? But no. So, so you know, some people don't got it like that. Some people don't got the heart. You know, but um, unfortunately, when things like that happen, that I'm fighting with two or three dudes, I always got somebody or some of my mans that get in. Anyway, this story is about upstate. This story is the first time that I got, what can I say? The first time that I got into it with the Trinitarios, with the, with the Trinitarios, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm talking about, the Trinitarios, the Dominican gang, you know, Dominican gang. And usually, I get along with Dominican gangs, I get along with the Trinitarios, believe me, there's always one or two that becomes my boy, always. In the island, upstate, whatever, I know a bunch of them around here where I live at. Uh, where I live at, you got you got you got everything. You got bloods, kings, you got a few nietas, and you got Trinitarios. And everybody around here respects everybody. I'm talking about where I live at, where I live at now, around this area. So, you know, but sometimes upstate shit happens. It really does. So what happened was this problem that occurred upstate was because the head dude, the head Trinitario, his name was, uh, what was his name, Pachanga? Pachanga? Pa no, not Pachanga. Pachanga, Maranga, 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 either Pachanga or Maranga, something like that. Dude was a, a good dude, you know, I mean, as a good dude, he was, uh, he was that dude to hold them down because this man used to get busy. This man, I met this man a few years back in the island when Caballo was out there. When Caballo was in the island, when Caballo started getting busy with the Trinitarios, they started building up the Trinitarios. Because Caballo was my dog. That was my boy, man. He was, he was my boy and he loved the Kings. As a matter of fact, he learned a lot of the, 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 the Trinitarios lessons or some of the rules are based on Latin King rules. Plain and simple. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about their rules and all that stuff, but I've been told. A few Green that that have been my man that has told me. You understand what I'm saying? And um, the last time I saw Caballo, it was in, um, oh my God, what's the name of that joint? Five Points. Five Points is a super max. Um, I got there because I got thrown out of wallet. So when you get thrown out of wallet, they send you to Five Points. So they send you to where, like, where the box is at. You know what I'm saying? And you stay locked in 23 hours a day, just like the box, bro. I mean, I don't, I don't think it's fair, but it's just like the box, be for real. You know what I'm saying? They only give you, if I remember, the, yeah, you, remember, you, you can take a shower every day. That's the only difference. You can take a shower every day. You go to commissary. You don't go to commissary. Commissary comes to you. And stuff like that. But the only thing is that you get two, you get two people in one cell. I couldn't deal with that. I could not deal with two people in one cell. I couldn't. So every time somebody used to come in, I used to start with the person. 
I start with the person till he get out. I know one time they want to stick a homo in my cell. I looked at the CEO, I said, yo, you stick that door in my cell, don't even close the door, the dude's going to be leaving that here leaking. I swear to God, bro, the, the CEO said, come on, get back out, get out, get out, get out, because he knew I was fucking serious. In Five Points Correctional Facility, when I was there, there was this dude, a white boy, a white boy that he was in population. He was in population. How was it? Was he in population? Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember. But I do remember this. This dude was in five points. They brought him a roommate. Not a roommate. You don't want to call him a roommate. They brought another inmate into the cell. So now there's two inmates into the cell. Come on. I mean... You got a, two beds, two, it's a, like a bunk bed. The toilet is there. You got the shower there. There's no privacy. You wanna take a fucking shit, you gotta make a curtain. <coughs> you wanna fucking jerk off, you gotta make a curtain. And you can't even jerk off because how the fuck you gonna jerk off with somebody in the cell? Let's keep it, I'm keeping it real, man. No sugar coating my shit. So what we used to do was this. It's like, yo, check this out, son. Go to the yard tomorrow afternoon. I need to go, I need to chill by myself today. You already know what time it was. You're going to the hotel, you feel me? Let's keep it fishing. you're going to the hotel. You got your magazines, you got your, 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 your butt man, you got your, your hustler, your cherry, you know what I'm saying? You got all your magazines ready to get busy. That's the hotel. <laughs> and, but you gotta tell your man, yo, go take a walk. Or, if you're one of those dudes that get visits, you good. Mm. So what happened was, you know, this is like I said, this is, this is upstate prison. This is not five points. So what happened was that there was mad creditarios there. They creditarios outnumber Latin kings and outnumber bloods. I'm talking about they outnumber Latin kings by two times, maybe three. And they outnumber the bloods by, by two. So that means they had like about a good, a good, like about a good 150 um, 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 creditarios. We had, because I had to count, we have 45 Latin kings. And I also had the count of the bloods. The bloods was 62. You feel me? Because as a Latin king, you gotta count the bloods, but you gotta make sure how many bloods is there, how many is not, who's a blood, who's a potential blood. So, you know, that's something that, you, you know, you get trained to do when, you know, security. So, obviously, the Canadarios thought that they had the prison locked down. What happens? We in the yard one day. You got the Latin Kings playing the Bloods softball. Softball tournament. You know what I'm saying? We had tournaments. You know what I'm saying? So you had the Kings, the I mean the Kings versus the Bloods, or the Bloods versus Kinitarios, or Kinitarios versus the Muslims, or the Muslims versus the Nietas. That's how it was. You understand what I'm saying? Or you had your house, whatever house. If you was um, C, C block, <coughs> or C2, you go at it with C1, or CB, or CF, whatever. You go in that, you know, it's, it's basketball, baseball, whatever. Softball, the whole nine yard. But, like I said, the Canita Adios was mad big. So one day, they, I mean, the Land Kings and Bloods are playing baseball. So you got the Canita Adios in the side ground, because you know a lot of Dominicans, well, that's all they do is play baseball in Santo Domingo. So you had a Latin, a Latin, no, you had four Land Kings that was Dominicans. You had two Bloods that was Dominicans. And the Dominicans was fucking with the three Latin King 
that they were Dominican and they were fucking with the two bloods that they were Dominican. I'm talking about fucking with them hard body. I'm talking about, you know, uh, you're a sellout, you, you, you playing with the enemies, you know what I'm saying, but they laughing. But we Latin kings and bloods, we're not catching this funny. We're not thinking it's funny at all because, you know, you're talking about you playing with the enemies. Now, they would have been like, oh, come on, man, you shouldn't play with us. We the Dominicans, we just, you know, we the best baseball players, blah, blah, blah. You know, Puerto Ricans and black people within it. Nah, Puerto Ricans are the best. You know how it is. But they was, they were talking a little grimy. They were talking like a little, like plain and simple. They were, they, they, they were looking for it, bro. So, and one thing, I remember one of the bloods, he hit a home run. Look at that. This dude, I mean, he was good. He was good. He hits the homie. Three, two dudes scores in. Plus him, three scores. Now Lan Kings are losing. Bam. So the nigga's like, yo, next time, why don't you um, um get more Dominicans to get down with the Lan Kings, bro? And then one one of the one of the one of the, one, one of the three things come out and say, that can never happen. Because Dominicans are smarter. They know where the power at. The power's right here. You know what I'm saying? With their own people. With the, with the Trinidadios. They said it like mad bad. With Trinidadios. You, heard, you hear all of them saying that. With Trinidadios. So now, I was not first crown. I was not second crown. I was not none of that. I was just a, how you could you say, uh, an advisor. I was an advisor because I've been through all that. I've been a king for many years. I didn't want no crown. I didn't want none of that. But I used to show up and holler to the brothers, you know what I'm saying? They needed any advice. I was there for that. That's what happened when you become an Asian king with my paper. And I had my papers given by Matancia from my state. And if you don't know, if any Latin king doesn't know Matancia haven't been to the state, there's something wrong with you. So anyway, It's like the sixth inning now. These dudes are getting more grimy. Bum man's out, no pitcher, no pitcher, throw that pitcher out. Yo, matter of fact, why don't you take one of our guys? Yo, I throw one of my men for a pack. You know, we, you know, blah, blah, blah. So one of the bloods, um, uh, what was, uh, I think it was uh, uh, bloody, 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 bloody sea, bloody sea. So this bloody sea bash, so bloody sea bash, big blood dude, big blood dude, good with the hands too. Me and him spar sometimes, and um, he was kind of good. He was good. I believe he he said he never boxed, but I believe he did. Anyway, so bloody sea bash comes to say, "Hey yo, man, your niggas are making too much noise, bro. Enough of that, bro. You're getting on. You know, you're you're, you're talking a little too grimy now." Talking a little too grimy with my bloods, man. And that, that, you know, that was at that time with my dogs. You know, bloods was considered dogs, Latin King was considered lion, like lions. So, our first crown, you know what I'm saying, big boy. Not the big boy that was in the beacon or that shit, not him. That big boy, I heard he got touched. I heard he got touched. A lot of shit was going on in the beacon, and he was letting it go. You know what I'm saying? He was letting it go. And that's not going to happen. And then what he was doing was he was putting this this family, this land king business, but everybody knows about this. This is old news from New York. Everybody, what Big Boy was doing was he, he had like about six, seven crimes, you know, um, crime, um, how do you call them? Co-defendants. And he wanted all his co-defendants to have position. You feel me? Back in old and back in that time, I was supposed to get the position as I was I was the first crown in the in the in the projects. When I left the projects, I went to the right side. That what we call the light side. Then you got the dark side. I was first crown in the light side. Once I got there, big niggas gave me third crown immediately. From there, I just raced up. up two weeks later, I was first crown. I was getting too much power. They sent me to the dark side. The dark side was there for a month. What happened? 
I was regional. I, they, they gave me the rank of regional because the one, the Suprema in, of, of C95, when the, when the regional left to upstate, he gave me that. I took it, no problemo. Next thing you know, the Suprema is still there. No, the Suprema leaves. They, they, he goes to another building. Some shit happened. The Land King set it off with some bloods and stuff like that. And, and, and you know, it, it, it was over some bullshit. So they set it off with some bloods. They packed him up. They packed up a lot of the blood leaders. And whatever whatever happened, happened. Anyway, so that means Land Kings and the Bloods had a peace treaty. Then we had another little peace treaty. You know, before anything happens, yo, listen, man. This was going to go down. Blah, 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 blah. You know? Let's chill. All right. We like, you know, I'm like, yo, listen, I'm first crown. I'm like, listen, man, I'm here for a bullshit parole violation. I go home in fucking seven months. You understand what I'm saying? But don't get it twisted. If any of you guys touch one of my lions, excuse me, any one of you guys touches one of my lions, we're going to eat some of your dogs. And I'm talking about we're going to eat them. So, the... the uh, uh, C black, C C blast, C black, like blast, like 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 cutting somebody. C blast came and said, "Yo, we rocked it, we chilled, everything was goody woody woody." This is bullshit. This is not C ninety five. This is upstate. This is upstate. This is upstate. My bad. This is upstate. We you know they they set off in C ninety five. They said that in C ninety five, our first crown here, first crown there, blah blah blah, whatever. Or two, we got upstate. Now, like I said, I'm a state. And all this shit is going on, man. Trinidadios, they all they think they got the state locked down. They think they got Midtown locked down. Midtown, you hear me, Midtown. Um, what was the name of that jail? Uh five points? No, not five point. Mistake. Mistake. I hate that fucking prison. Mistake. I hate it. I hate it with a passion, bro. Anyway, so while we in mistake. Right? Hold on, guys. While we in fucking Mid-State Correctional Facility, um, um, uh, the, the shit happened with the baseball, right? So, the fucking Adios started acting a little, a little, not a little, a lot disrespectful. A lot. I'm talking about Violation to the T. You feel me? Violation to the monkey T. So now, but we trying. We trying. Well, we trying our best not to have war, man. We trying the best not to have war, guys. You know, but there's so much that you could take. I gotta get some juice, man. Hold up. Let me, I'll be right back, guys. Give me like, give me two seconds. My mouth is dry. I'm gonna leave it on. Two seconds. So now, now back to our set. Now back to what was at. Now, as you see, these dudes was acting up. So 
The game was over. Everybody get back to the dorms, you know, back to their houses, whatever. I'm in, I'm in the honor dorm. They made a mistake, son. I don't know how they put me in the honor dorm, son. I just got there since day one. They put me in mistake. I got to say, son, that I got lucky there twice. The first time I got to mistake, right? The, my first, because I got to mistake two times, back to back. My last two parole violations, I went to mistake, and I hated it. I hated mistake. But what can I do? I'm there. So the first time I got to mistake, they sent me to the mess hall dorm. Son, man, so dumb, mad money. Mad cheddar better. You don't see everybody works in the mess hall. So my thing was I had a milk contract. I had dudes set by and selling me milk. You know, I had uh, a dude giving me four milks a day. Four milks a day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, he don't work. So four milks a day. In the in the in the in the house in mistake, we they used to give our ice. Did we have an ice machine? I'm trying to think. Did we have an ice machine in mistake? I believe we had an ice machine. Yes, 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 yes. We had an ice machine. Yes, we had an ice machine. So, but what I did was. I paid some dudes they used to work in the in the clinic. I mean, in the clinic, where in the in the, in the clinic in the hospital, you know, to bring me the the the, the, the you know those those things. Oh my God, how you call them the uh, shit that they, they make that you can make a cool out of fiber fiber foam, whatever the, that they come in the boxes like in packages. They come thick, and they white, and they come, you can break them out. You can break them in pieces. Clack clack clack. You can break them. Oh uh, God! And you know, you know what I'm trying to say. I, I can't get the name right, but anyway, they need to get packages, right? The medical, whatever the fuck. And I had to tell them to sell me, to sell me like six big pieces of it. So I bought like, like something like, something like from you know, uh, let me see, seven, fourteen, twenty-one. Like 21, like 21 inches long, like at least, at least, at least 30, 32 inches wide. You understand what I'm saying? Boom and wide. So I had like seven long pieces. So what I did was, I had somebody that used to work in the, in the, in the guy in the garbage um, in the trash, right? So I told him, yo, bring me a box. Nice size box. I wanted an orange box. Where the orange comes, okay. He brought me the orange box. So what I did was I took the fiber uh, the fiber foam, but you know the white thing, whatever, you know what I'm saying? That you, you could buy them small, small and, and they like ice coolers. You know, it, it, it cools it down and shit. That's what, you know, the hospital orders of that. Because they get some things that they need to be cool. You know, ice. So, me and my man, you know, we managed it. I used to do it. I did it in, in mistake. I did it in um, um, uh, Five Points. I did it in motherfucking uh, Collins. Um, Arthur Kill. You know, I used to always have my own ice box. So... Because some places, you got to share the ice with the other house. So you get different times. Like, let's say your house gets it at 7 o'clock. Your house gets it at 7. The next house gets it at 10. And that's it. Ice is over. You know, they got to they gotta make some more ice for the next day. And there's only once, once, once a day they give an ice, bro. That's, that's some bullshit. Once a day, and I'm talking about in the summertime. So once a day, but they be having like like ice, you know, what I'm saying like 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 uh, the ice. I mean the water, the water fountain. That some of them comes cold with the ice, you know, the, the machine that makes it cold. Thank God. So anyway, I made my own my own cooler. You feel me? I made my own cooler, big, chilling. Everything was perfect, plastic. You know, every time I had to get my packages. 
you know, like like you know, meat, my meats, uh, cheese, all that plus the 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 the, the mess hall used to bring me eggs. So about the eggs, kid, okay? We used to make scrambled eggs. You know how we used to make scrambled eggs? With the fucking coffee. With the coffee pot. They used to sell coffee pot. So they used to have the old ones. They stopped, they're not selling those shits no more because the old ones was metal. So what we used to do is, sometimes you could find them. What we used to do is take it out and just use you know the, the, the round part when, when you fill it up and it gets hot, the bottom part. So what we do, we used to take that out Hook it up really good with extra heat. And what we used to do was we throw the egg in there and we used to fry it. Crazy shit, son, for real. The grilled cheese sandwiches, the iron. Just like you see in the prison, the iron. You take up a brown paper bag. You throw your grilled cheese there, you wrap it up, you, you, you cover it up, and you sh- sh- squeeze it down. You can make like two, four or five grilled cheese, no problemo. Now back to the prison. Back to mistake. So, we in the house, and I'm like saying to myself, yo, these dudes are really playing themselves. And at that moment, one of the bloods come to me. And he's talking about El Solo. You know, we know you third crown. At that time, I was like third crown because they didn't have no third crown. So the, fir- the first crown that was there wanted me to hold it down. You know what I'm saying? He said, yo, until we get somebody right, that, until, we, until we get somebody that I know that, he's, that he can hold it down. But right now, Solo, you the OG here. We know you Asian King. You don't have to do it, but can you please do it? I was like, I got you. Fuck around. I became fucking first crown. For like three weeks, I became first crown. You know what I'm saying? Because the first crown that told me to take off, to take the, the third crown as a warlord, I was like, all right, about. He got packed up on a PK pass, on a PK draft. That means it's a random draft. They pack you up. You know what I'm saying? They take like 20 guys out of the jail. They pack you up. That's what they call PK. Anyway, now, I remember that the blood comes to us and he's like, yo, man, these dudes out of control. Yo, solo man, can you talk to these dudes? Because they were really violent. C Blash, C Bash, he ain't playing no games, man. Bloody C Bash ain't playing no games. These dudes are violent. They think they powerful. Yo, yes. That's only like I think there was like 69 of them. And there was like 45 or 44, 43, something of us, Latin Kings. So he said, if you think about it, you're 69. We got 69. You guys got like what? Like 45? Add that up. 69 plus 45. That's 113, some shit like that. We have enough. We have enough to get busy with them. You feel what I mean? They like about 100 deep. And not counting, not counting they little guys on the side that will roll with them. The same thing with the Land King. We had Puerto Ricans, Dominican, Puerto Ricans, Dominican, Cubans, Mexicans that used to be with us. But they were not down with us, but they had our backs. Same thing with the Bloods. Same thing with Crips. You know what I'm saying? You always got guys that know these dudes that will step up for them. You understand what I'm saying? And plus, you know you black. Blacks always going to look out for blacks. They're not going to let nobody abuse their own kind. Just like Puerto Ricans. We're not going to let anybody use blue, blah, blah, fuck up their own kind. Just like Dominicans. Beautiful. Mexicans. You know, we, we stay strong to our Latino race. So... We like, yeah, I'm going to go talk to them. I'm going to talk to them. So I go the next day. I go, we're going to school. So I talk to this one that they call him Chavalito. It's a Dominican dude named Chavalito. Chavalito or Chavalito? 
chévere, chévere, like chévere, be like, yo, right, you know, anyway. Digging the uh, 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 Trinidadian name Chevere. So, and Chevere means like kind of cool, like all right, you know. But well, I talked to Chevere, and I'm like, yo, Chevere, not for nothing, man, but your, your people was violating us yesterday, man. You was go violating the Latin King, you were violating the Bloods, man. Ah, but come on, we were just joking, hoo ha ha, he lee lee lee. But we really mad at the three Latin, at the three Dominicans that's down with the Latin Kings. And the other two that's down with the bloods, I said, hold up, wait a minute. They are brothers, B. And let me tell you something, bro. As a man that been coming to jail since 1985, when the Land King first started, I was upstate when they first started. And then I came here to the island. And let me tell you something. A lot of you Dominicans was down with us. A lot of you Dominicans was paying us to take care of you. Cause I know I had like four or five that was hitting me off at one time in 1992. I swear to my mother's grave. In C76, I had like three Dominicans that was hitting me off with $25 every fucking week of commissary. And I never told them to give it to me. They was buying it because they wanted to have me in their right spot. And in C95, I had two in different occasions. One was buying his whole commissary, putting it in my shelf, putting it in myself. I had to come to the house with my little bag of commissary or my big bag, go and look at myself, all three of his big ass bags was there. Asking me permission. If, if, if he takes something out of my cell, like, yo, you don't gotta have me permission. That's your shit. Matter of fact, why don't you take the shit out and put it in your cell? But then again, I started saying, nah, because niggas are seeing, the, 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 the bloods were seeing that he was, he was doing that. So, you know, if I was, something would have happened, I would have left, they were, they were gonna try to take him as a son. So, anyway. So, you know, Jeremy, they was like, yo, baba, oh, who I, he, he, who I. Yo, I'm going to talk to them. What happened is, like the same day for child, Chevy tells me, yo, come to the yard, I got to holler at you. But I couldn't go to the yard because I, I, had, I had to go to the barber. You feel me? So I'm like, yo, let's do this tomorrow. I was like, nah, nah, you know. So what I did was, as a first crown, no, I was third crown. As a third crown, what I did was I, I sent my, you know, my, my head of my security. I'm not going to mention his name. So my head of security goes to the yard. What happens? One of these dudes starts arguing with him. And he winds up snuffing. He winds up snuffing my motherfucking second in, 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 in command of security. That's war. That's war. That is war. And my head of security was just by himself, bro. By like, like six, seven of them. One dude snuffed him. He getting ready to fight back, and the rest of the dudes say, yo, you swing, you know what time it is. This is morning yard. This is morning yard, everybody's at their program. Program's over with. We all coming out, yeah, 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 yeah. We chilling, we talking, we laughing. Next year, you know, little man, King Little Man, comes to me and say, Yo, Solo, yo, these motherfuckers popped off, B. They popped off on such and such. What? Yo, they, they popped off on such and such. Right there, when I heard that, we in the school building. Three of these dudes of the Trinidadios, they coming down the stairs. 
That's like five of us. One of the, the, the lions had a little small bang bang. We call them the little small bangers. You know, shank, what you call them? Yo, bang bang, bang bang. Yo, you got a bang bang? Yeah, I got a bang bang. All right, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Boom. So these dudes don't see us, so they, they, they pass us, and now they're going down the stairs. So we we going right, right right behind them. When one of them turns around, I'm not going to say no name, hit him with the bam bam. Right here, bro. Right here. The shit went right through the motherfucking check, bro. Boom. Boom. Again. These niggas turn. Instead of going at it with us, two of them starts to run. The, 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 the ones that stood to, to start popping, they tried to pop, but they ate a lot of war and floor, son. I'm going to keep it fishing with you. They, they, they tried, but they ate a lot of war and floor. Boom. We get to the house. There's like six of them in my house. Six threes in my house, two land kings, and four bloods in my house. They didn't get the word yet. The three didn't get the word that was going down. Next thing you know, we hear a fucking riot thing. Boop, 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 boop. That means that the house, the building next to us, it was getting busy. And it was the Trinidadios flipping on three bloods. There was no king, no, no king. There was only three bloods in that house. So they flipping on the three bloods because they found out that what happened because the blood that got hit was going to that he was living in that house. So they didn't stick none of the three bloods, they just pound them out. You know, come on, you got a few. So now the bloods in my house, I already let them know and I let the kings know, yo, this was going down, baby. But da, 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 just now we just said off. Bro, these dudes did not, you know, they was like, what's going on? They, you know, they were checking it out. They knew something was going, I mean, they really thought that we was going to pop off on them. They really thought that because they really thought that they had the house. So two of them goes to the shower. Two of these dudes go to the shower, take a shower. They walk out the shower leaking. The both of them. We're talking about leaking. They ripped. Boom, CO, CX him out. He presses the alarm. Do, 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 The treaties that's in the house, they see what was going on. They don't know if it was us or they don't know if it was the bloods. They don't know if it was us, but they don't know if it was the bloods, but it was the bloods. But the bloods did not know that in my house that, they, that these dudes jumped three bloods in another house. We don't know yet. It was shit that just popped off. You feel me? So now, the treaties come to us, to me and the two Latin kings. Yo, yo, these motherfuckers, in, you know, in Spanish, yo, these motherfucking prietos, blah, 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 talking all that caca, waka shit. So, Obviously, we doing this with the bloods. So what happened is that <laughs> this brother named King Tut, he goes in the locker and he's like, yo, we're going to eat Jack Mac today. Jack Mac is a can of a Jack Mac fish. we like, yeah. You know, I'm like, I felt like, what? They're like, yo, we're going to eat Jack Mac. I already know the sign, like, yeah, 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 let's do the Jack Mac. The Jack Mac was that he took two cans and put them in his sock. So Dominicans thinking that, you know, that he gets up in the food that to eat, you know, some cans. He takes out a can of beans, boom, takes out a can of corn, boom, and then the two Jack Macs, he puts it in the sock. Doop, doop. When he gets up, he catches two of them. Bah! Bah! Right there, we getting on with these niggas, B. Boo, B, bang, do, dang, 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 do, dang. Bro, 
So yo comes in. I chilled. I ran to my fucking desk, to my thing, to my cube. My cube was like, I had, what was it, what cube I had? I think it was 35 Q. I think it was 35 Q. And my man, the king, was at 22 Q. And, you know, they weren't there to talk to us because I was there and the other king was there, you know, in the queue. It's a small queue. You're not supposed to have nobody in your queue. But the seals don't stress it. If you have like two, one person, they don't stress that. But if you get like four or five dudes in one queue, guys, get out the queue. You know what I'm saying? No, no visiting. Boom. So anyway, seals come in. They grab a few of, of the kings, the two kings. They grab one and they grab two bloods. Because the dude, the king that's knocking these niggas with the cans, nigga had blood, B. He cracked their heads, B. He, he, he cracked their heads, bro. So, nigga had, you know, you hit somebody, blood splatters. So, he caught them good, bro. Especially the first dude he caught, bro. That dude just didn't know what the fuck happened. And just said, ah! And just went down, boom. Just went down to the floor, straight to the floor. Then this nigga's hitting the other dude in the back. Back at that, back at that. So, the other... The other Dominicans, you know, they get hit by hands. Do, 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 do. So anyway, they checking people's faces and stuff like that. I didn't get hit, so I'm good. They're looking at knuckles. But that's what they first do, they look at knuckles. You know what I'm saying? They look at knuckles. I already have my gloves on. Because you can have gloves. You know what I'm saying? So I already have my gloves on. So boom, so I didn't have no knuckles or bruises, nothing like that. Um, the bloods, the bloods that was in my house, the, the two bloods that they took in my house, was it two or three? No, two, two. The two bloods that was in my house, there was more, but two bloods that they took that was in my house, they came and they grabbed them because they had the knuckles. They had their knuckles and bruise. Because once they saw us, that we started going at it with them. They came, because they, they, already, they already knew what time it was. We already built, we already set it. Yo, we're going to start work, whipping on these dudes. That day, that day, five houses, five houses got busy. That day, five houses got busy. Out of the five houses that got busy, four houses, Latin Kings and Bloods won. One house, the Thinis got busy. There was like 15 of them, like 15. Two Kings and like about Five bloods got hurt bad. They got hurt. They got hurt. They, I don't know who got cut. I, I I can't remember, but I know I think like three of them got cut. Three of them got cut. What happened? Well, how shit stopped? How the drama stopped? They came and this a bitch. They came to look for me. Yo, we want to speak to Solo because, like I said, they knew I was third crown. I'm head of security, so I'm supposed to be there. And they also wanted to speak to my first crown. Now, what happened was, there was no second crown. The second crown dude got packed up. So, he wanted me to act at second crown. So he told me, pick your third crown. Pick an acting third crown. So of course, I pick the one that was, you know what I'm saying? The one that felt they could take the third crown position. And I ain't gonna front, that was King Big Man. This dude had to be at least 6'8", Puerto Rican dude. At least 6'8". Matter of fact, he was half Puerto Rican, half Dominican. But he grew up in Puerto Rico. He was born in Puerto Rico. I think his mom's Dominican or his father's Dominican. He was born and raised in Puerto Rico. He came to the United States. A year later, he got locked up. Well, he had to call him Spanish El Grande. 
the big guy, you know, El Grande. I suggest for you not to call him Bambalan. He will murder you. Bambalan, that, that's like a big goofy. I used to hate with Some things used to call me that. This Dominican dude called me that when I first heard about it. And, and uh, Orleans, named Cano, with his ass because of that, B. With his ass because of that. I said that story. Anyway, I go. Grande goes. We step into the meeting, you know, we're going outside, COs are like this. And first of all, the yard was closed for like two and a half weeks. No yard, no program, everything was locked. The hot dog, the jail was locked. All right? Miss State was locked. Seriously, yo, no school, no program. Ch um, the child, when, when you know child, child, they was bringing it to you. Bro, they was bringing sandwiches, ham and cheese, tuna fish, anything that was easy, bro. They was bringing. You understand what I'm saying? Because the one that was bringing the food was the civilians, like the teachers, some COs, because remember, all inmates' work was locked down. When shit like that happens, be the jail gets locked down. And if, they, and if they need help, they call, they call the Orange Cross. You don't want those dudes to come. <laughs> you don't want those dudes to come. You don't want the Orange Cross to come, bro. Orange Cross, man. Oh, oh, God. Look up on the Orange Cross. Special. Yo, when the jail goes crazy, look up, look up on um, the Orange Cross. The Orange Cross was the ones that killed all those inmates in Attica and the COs. Those was our, our, our orange crust. They fucking all type of COs from outside. I mean, police officers, COs, mother of the prison, uh, 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 even civilians. Yo, it's crazy. You don't want the orange crust. You don't want, you don't want the orange They call them the orange crust. Crush. Crush. They crush the motherfucker. That's what they call the orange crush. So, we spoke we told them, yo, you guys, are, you know, you guys are out of control. You're disrespecting us. You know, saying it's all good because we know, we understand how it is. You know, saying when when you when your when your family is bigger than the other families, we understand that. And you know something? Not even Muslims didn't do shit. That's why Muslims didn't have no respect. When I was there, Muslims didn't have no respect. I ain't respect them. They could have got down with us and stopped this shit. You know what I'm saying? Or they could have been the peacemakers. So anyway, everything went down. Boom, boom, boom. Woo, huh? Like a week, a week and a half later, I became first crown. And I didn't want it. I was like I said, I was there for sure until somebody came, and then I gave it to them. Yo, you take over, B, because I'm I got like 45 days left to go home, B, and I ain't trying to. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to, but yo, thank God, man, I was there for parole violation, son, and I could have got hit with a new charge, all right? That's why, man, upstate New York, yo, let me tell you, K King Solo, upstate New York, Collins, Miss State, Attica, Sing Sing, Downstate, Fishkill, um, Arthur Kill, um, 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 oh uh, man, Oster. I was in Mid Orange. Uh, uh, the next, the uh, Orleans. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Auburn. Um, Woodland. Uh, Five Points. I was in a lot of prisons. And I had the respect. I never was a guy to pick on people. No, that was not my thing. I never liked abuse. But if you fuck with me, you fuck with my brothers, it was a different style. It was a different time. It was, yo, you, that's it. But everybody that know me, man, they know that I was a good motherfucker. I was one of these funny ass dudes, make everybody laugh and, and, and just be cool. Whatever I had was yours. You know what I'm saying? That's how it was, B. When I used to forgive dudes to eat, and I had to put in the food. I'm not these dudes like, yo, what you got? You got rice? Okay. 
uh, what else you got? You got this? Okay, I will put in this. Let's make a meal. Then when we make the meal, we, we'll give somebody a little plate like that they can wash the dishes. I was not like that, bro. I will put in everything and wash the plates. That's how I was, bro. That's how I was. I am what you, what you see is what you get. The only thing I'm telling you, as long as I can defend myself, the only thing I tell you is treat me like I treat you. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the story, man. This is the K Solo story. This will be the last story for a couple of days. So enjoy. Listen, now I'm telling you, hit that cash app. And one more thing, you know, subscribe, man. What the hell, buddy? What's so my, my Dominican brothers, my Puerto Rican brothers, my Colombian brothers, my Mexican brothers? What's going on with you guys, bro? Even my black brothers, what's going on, bro? What's up with the love, man? Hit the subscribe button, yo. Yo, dudes me out of control, man. I'm serious, man. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Before I break out, I spoke to Australia. I spoke to Australia and I got mad at him. Because he fucking tells me, yo, I was blah, blah, blah. I said, motherfucker, you never fucking call me and do some shit like that. Especially if I'm on the fucking, if I'm on, if I'm on YouTube Live. I said, you don't do shit like that. He said, oh, I was, I was, I was fucked up, I was drinking, I was just playing around. No, nigga, you don't play around like that, but you don't get on my show or call my phone and tell me some stupid shit like that. And I knew, I knew that's what was going on. I knew he was in for real. I knew he, it was not real. Even though there's something sick with that dude, because there's something that's sick with that dude. Because he tell me he takes like about a thousand medications, nigga. But the nigga had the nerve to get a little mad at me. Nah, nigga, don't get mad at me, motherfucker. I'm trying to defend myself, dude. You call me on my phone, nigga, two or three times to tell me some bullshit like that. So I said what the fuck I had to say, B, and whoever don't like it to suck my dick ten times. You feeling me? Whoever don't like what I said about Australia when 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 I when that nigga told me that bullshit and that's it wind up that he was fucking drunk and high on medication. And he got the nerve to call me and get mad at me because I said it on YouTube. Motherfucker, you called me on my phone, nigga. You called me when I was alive on YouTube, nigga. If that shit would have been true, motherfucker, they would have fucking tried to fuck with me because I knew about it because you told me about it, you idiot. Ever fucking call me again. Ever fucking, I'm talking to uh, Australia, don't ever fucking call me again. And once again, for all these motherfuckers, Whoever didn't like that I said it on YouTube, suck my dick again, motherfuckers. Come see me. You know where I live at. Bitch ass nigga. See you guys later, man. That shit just got me tight just now, bro. Because you know who I'm talking about. Come see me, nigga. You know where I live at. Matter of fact, I don't live there no more. But you let me know, and I'll meet you. <sighs> what up, man? Oh, yeah, guys. Sorry about that. You already know. K-Solo, man. Let me get out of here.